Hello, Roger Cuthbert here. Welcome to Houston and District Photographic Society's In Isolation Competition, Week 7. This week's theme is Spiderweb or Spiderweb Inspired. Before we begin, according to Wikipedia, spiders are air-breathing arthropods that have eight legs, with fangs able to inject venom and spinnerets that extrude silk. They're the largest order of arachnids and rank seventh in total species diversity among all orders of organisms. Spiders are found worldwide on every continent except Antarctica. As of July 2019, at least 48,200 spider species have been recorded. There's a disclaimer on this presentation. No arachnids, either real or pretend, were harmed in the production of this presentation. All characters are fictitious and any likeness to any real person, insect or spider is purely coincidental. Looking at the results so far, we can see that we've still managed a separate winner each week. Let's see what happens now for week seven. We welcome this week our judge, Susan Barry. Susan is our club secretary. Her words and comments this week are read by me. Thank you for the opportunity to judge round seven and for entering your images. This is my first go at judging photographic images and great to be able to give it a go in this fun competition. I am more used to judging dogs at championship show level, but I will apply the same principles. I don't fault judge and I wouldn't dream of telling you what to do with your f-stop. I guess I'm old school in that for me a picture is a moment in time, but I've been looking forward to the creativity that this theme presents. So here goes. Bijou pad with bling for sale. I like this very clever image. The diffused background, light, shade and colours work well. The spider web is nicely positioned just off centre. The bling is subtle but beautiful and a lot of time has obviously been spent creating this image. Climbing up again. I love the impact of this image. Clearly an umbrella, but so very clever. The colours are perfect as, the black, as is the black backdrop. I thought it was a conker in the middle, then I realised it must have been the umbrella handle. My eye went straight to the spider, which is perfectly positioned. Come into my parlour. This is creepy, but oh so clever. The composition is really good. My eyes are drawn to her eyes, and then the lips with the streaks of blood down both sides. There is an awful lot to see in this image, none of which takes away from the cleverly placed doll. Beams on the ceiling, wooden panelling to the right, both give depth, and the beautiful lamp gives some light to the left corner. Spooktacular. Damsel in distress. A moment in time, but not a good one for this damselfly. I like the composition of this. The damselfly sitting in the centre, but with the centre of the web sitting nicely at the first third. The web is subtle, and looking closely there are other little bugs dotted along the web. The background colour suits this image too, and is nicely diffused with a touch of bokeh in the right bottom corner. The only distraction is the white in the top left corner. Home sweet home. The spider looks very much at home and well positioned in the bottom third of the image. The colours of silver and green are exquisite and I love how the flower bud is shrouded by the web and the way it sweeps down to the left of the shot. Totally sharp where it needs to be and well exposed. In a dusty bookshop. Well, a novel idea here. One of my favourite authors too. The key book is very sharp, with the books in the background having a softness that make the spider's web, book, spider's web book stand out. Nothing overdone in this image, cleverly put together. Incy Wincy Spider. Haha, -ha, another slightly creepy image here, and I wanted to zoom in to see if I could recognise either of the two figures tragically trapped by Incy Wincy. 
Would I have preferred to see them in colour? Not sure. The mono works well for the web, the nursery rhyme and the spider. I like the subtle background too. Incy Wincy Wet Web Incy Wincy certainly gets about and is well positioned in the top left of this high contrast image, which works well. The water droplets are super sharp throughout and I like the green background. A slight distraction is a line across the image in the bottom third. Inspired by an abandoned web. Something quite different and very appealing to the eye. The colours are beautiful and there is light and shade in all the right places. I can't make out whether they are old feathers or what's left of some grassy seed heads, but it doesn't matter. There are rays of light across the top third and the grainy effect works really well and gives the whole image a fine art feel. Leaf. It is amazing how leaves have this intricate web of veins throughout and this image very cleverly captures these in a silhouette. Has this been done using a light box I wonder? The centre line of the leaf is slightly off centre but works well with the strip of turquoise on the left hand side and the colours are lovely. Masked. Just wow! The impact of this image and its colours is striking. So very creative with the beads taking up the theme perfectly. The backdrop picks up the colours in the image really well and the turquoise somehow stops the head from floating. The composition is perfect as is the crop and the exposure. Sometimes in judging dogs we say this is one the judge would like to take home. Well I want this one on my wall. Mirror image. Another image with the wow factor. This is such a clever image and I have no idea how it was done, but I am in awe of the author. The colours are exquisite, and whether the hummingbird and the lotus flower are grass or acrylic, they are just beautiful. The composition is perfect, and the little blue flower to the right gives just enough interest on the right-hand side, another one the judge will want on her wall. Normandy Field Spider Back to a moment in time and the spider is but a speck under the arching golden head of wheat. The blurring of the background is perfect for the image. I like the composition of this. Would I have liked and indeed would it have been possible to get more sharpness to the spider? It may have been nice to determine whether the spider was hanging from the wheat or sitting on a web. Lovely image all the same. Particularly horrible. Well, before I looked at the title of this, I thought, is the author trying to be rude? That'll teach me. A clever title for a clever, well-caught image. The spider is perfectly positioned within the pea. I do love spiders. They are such beautiful creatures. And this one has some beautiful orange colours that might have benefited from more emphasis. The web is cleverly shown off in the blue of the lettering. Psychedelic spider web. A beautifully sharp spider web positioned perfectly within the image. My eye is drawn to the fascinating tassel in the lower part of the image, and I wonder if the web loops up to the little stalk. There isn't a spider on the web that I can see, but that doesn't matter. I would have liked the centre of the web to have drawn my eye more than the tassel. A more diffused background might have helped, but I still like this image. Spider Boy. There had to be a Spider-Man outfit in here somewhere, and what better than a young man showing off his blue and red hero costume. Perfect backdrop for these two strong colours. I like the way he's standing, but maybe would have preferred to see his face pointing towards the camera. A fun image. Trapped. The black backdrop of this image shows off the variation in colours captured within the spider's web. Composition is great, with the centre of the web in the right third and the damselfly well positioned to the lower left. The colours in the damselfly are lovely, especially the turquoise of the body. Unwelcome visitor. Why unwelcome? 
beautiful spider with delicate long legs. The composition is good and I don't mind the leg on the left and at the bottom is cut out of the frame. What makes the image for me is the colour. The backdrop is just perfect to show off the spider. I can't work out how it's been done, but it's a lovely image. Up in the shed. Another fun and creative image I like very much. Has Spider-Man stolen Captain America's shield? Is it an umbrella or part of some lighting kit? Intriguing. I love the way it's positioned in the roof of the shed, which gives it the perfect backdrop for the little figure right in the centre, as well as giving it depth. I like the lighting of this image too. Web of the Orbeez Spider. Well, the Orbeez Spider must have a web in the shape of a starfish, and how beautiful is that? The mix of colours in the beads is just lovely, and I like the shadow they make on the backdrop, that I can't quite make out as some artex or glass. Someone spent a lot of time cleverly putting this together, and I like the way it's square cropped and has captured the shape of the web. WWW Another one I looked at before seeing the title, and I was thinking, is it the web of the dreaded coronavirus? Ha ha! Actually, it's a very clever interpretation of the World Wide Web, with a huge spider superimposed in the centre of the world map. The map colours work well with the spider. The only distraction for me on the spider is the very dark green on the upper two legs, which I might have been tempted to tone that down, or to turn them blue like the lower legs. A very creative image. You should see the spider that did this. Indeed, even I might have been worried if I'd come across this spider. This is a really clever image using the beautiful ceiling of a building to superimpose something modern onto it. I like the way the long strands come down from the ceiling, well positioned, so they really do look like they're attached. Another one I like very much. And so, to my shortlist. Well, there wasn't one image that I did not like out of the 22, so I've done two cuts and probably broken the rules. My first cut leaves me with eight images. Climbing up again, come into my parlor, home sweet home, inspired by an abandoned web, masked, mirror image, unwelcome visitor and up in the shed. My second cut leaves me with my four favourites and these are Come into my parlour Inspired by an abandoned web Masked and mirror image. For my judge's pick I'm going to break the rules again if I'm allowed, Madam Chairman. I just love two images equally the same, and I don't really want to choose between them. Both of them are exquisite, and I'd like both on my wall. And those two are masked and mirror image. If you make me choose, no, I can't. Do I have to? Oh, well, by a photo finish it is masked and only because it was my first on my first skim through I took a sharp intake of breath there I did it well done everyone thanks as always to our judge Susan Barry uh, for her judging and for her comments and well done to Andrew for retaining the title for a second week on the trot there's a challenge now can it be done three times see you next week this presentation was brought to you by blooper free productions Almost.